Hello everybody, it's just me Smilo and it's me Smila and we are here at Grand Canyon National Park. The Grand Canyon is one of the most fascinating geological sites in the world where we are going to take you guys back 40,000 years ago and show you what life was like in Ice Age Arizona. Arizona may be one of the hottest places in the United States but get ready because things are about to get a whole lot cooler. <laughs> So I am here at the edge of the Grand Canyon where I am observing one of the most iconic predators of the Ice Age, Smilodontophilus, the saber-toothed cat. And you probably can't tell from the distance that we're at, but he's a pretty big cat too. He probably weighs about 600 to maybe even 750 pounds, which is about 25% heavier than the largest male lion. Yeah, I can tell that we're both enjoying this amazing view. Imagine hearing the sound of his mighty roar echo throughout the canyon. Down by the Colorado River, we find works of art called petroglyphs on the side of the canyon walls. The images may seem strange and hard to make out, but they actually have significant meaning. In a tributary canyon south of Sedona, an exceptional carving features a group of humans observing a large spotted cat with clawed feet, a short bobbed tail, and a distinctive pair of fangs that protrude from its mouth. This work of art may suggest that early humans native to Arizona came into contact with one of the most iconic predators of the Ice Age. Famously known for its iconic saber teeth, which could grow up to nearly 12 inches in length, Smilodon was among some of the most feared predators of the Ice Age. Smilodon was about the same size as a modern day lion, but it was twice as heavy. Imagine a big cat with the muscular body build of a bear. This specialized stand bush hunter was able to conquer the largest of prey animals, such as mammoths, mastodons, giant ground sloths, and bison. There was surely nothing cuddly about Smilodon Fatalis. Deep in the caverns near the Grand Canyon, we find evidence of another Ice Age giant, a 15-foot giant ground sloth. We find evidence that this giant sloth fell through a hole leading down deep into the caverns. She suffered severe injuries, and judging by the claw marks on the side of the cavern walls and her actual remains, the sloth attempted but failed to escape. Yep, this master giant is a very different creature when compared to its modern day descendant, the gentle tree sloth. He may be as big if not bigger than a grizzly bear, but he is actually one of the more smaller species of ground sloth when compared to his South American counterparts. Although he is slow moving and vulnerable, his massive size and his 18 centimeter long claws offer protection against most predators, such as the saber-toothed cat, which was especially designed for conquering such large prey animals. It was one of the ground sloth's natural predators. And unlike its modern day descendants, it was far too big and heavy to climb trees, but it still fed off of the leaf and greens. Surely not what most people imagine when they hear the word sloth. Today, the hot, dry deserts of Arizona are a very punishing place to live. But roll back 40,000 years and something different was in its place. These swamplands are the ideal habitat for one of the strangest creatures of the Ice Age. At the Phoenix, Arizona Museum of Natural History in Mesa, Wooly and I got to observe the fossilized shell of a glyptodont which was found in the deserts of Arizona. This large shelled mammal is an ancient relative of the modern day armadillo. Judging by the shape of its teeth, this swamp dweller's diet mainly consisted of soft, juicy plants. It could only survive in tropical swampland. The glyptodont could not move very quickly. It certainly couldn't move fast enough to outrun predators. It relied on complete body armor, which protected it from large predators such as Smilodon. This lush, swampy vegetation is just what these odd giants needed to survive. But as the climate began to change, the moist air became dry. The swamps evaporated. The lush, swampy vegetation that these giant herbivores needed to survive disappeared. The glyptotan can no longer feed itself and it became extinct. As spectacular and breathtaking as the view is, imagine what it would be like to soar above and through the Grand Canyon. One creature obviously knows what that feels like, the California condor. Nearly wiped out into extinction, only about 20 of these birds were left in the wild. But their numbers began to increase thanks to wildlife conservationalists. And these large birds descend from one gigantic bird of prey, Argentavis, which was among some of the largest birds to ever fly. This gigantic bird of prey had a wingspan measuring up to 6 meters in length. We told you that Ice Age Arizona was a very cool place. Truly a magnificent world. So remember, this world would not be what it is today if it wasn't for the many Ice Ages that it has experienced. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear, buddy. So we hope we were able to teach you guys a lot of interesting stuff. So that's it for now, folks. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. 
and we hope we were able to help you find a new appreciation for the Ice Age and its magnificent animals.